The pill is a highly concentrated form of resveratrol, a virtual vineyard of healthy living. How much red wine would you have to drink to get the kind of resveratrol that you're using? The sad news is that you'd need to drink about a thousand bottles a day of red wine, which I don't recommend. <laughs> The pill itself may not extend lifespan, but could prevent the diseases of aging, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. What we're talking about is activating the body's natural genetic defenses against diseases, and that's very powerful if we can harness that. Resveratrol has been tested on mice, and the results have been encouraging. In this test video provided by Sertris, both of the mice have been fed a high-fat diet for 12 weeks. But when placed on a treadmill, the mouse on the right ran twice as far. He was taking high concentrations of resveratrol. You have fat mice and you have fat mice with resveratrol. And the ones that are on resveratrol, they can run twice as far and they live longer, about 20% longer. Other studies showed that among mice fed a high-fat diet, those given resveratrol didn't gain as much weight as those not given the drug. Sinclair believes that resveratrol actually changes the physiology of the mice. The proof, he says, is in the post-mortem. Their organs looked pristine, youthful, fat-free, uh, and their physiology was just like they were dieting, but they were fat. Convinced they were on the right path, they fast-tracked the drug into human trials on people with untreated diabetes. And the results were impressive. It significantly lowered glucose and insulin levels without the patients changing their diet or taking any other drugs. Originally, our hope was that you'd be able to prevent diseases of aging. What we ended up seeing is actually you could therapeutically intervene in patients who have diseases of aging, and that was unexpected. Yeah, the diabetic patients have high blood sugar, and the molecules bring it down. That's treatment, that's not prevention. Sertris is now developing what they say is a much more potent synthetic version of resveratrol that will also soon go into human trials, this time on cancer patients. I keep on thinking, you know, what used to seem like it was science fiction. I actually believe the biology is right, and if we're right, this may be the most important thing that we're gonna do in our lives. Possibly. But it is important to remember that 9 out of 10 drugs that look good in mice ultimately fail in human trials. Still, the speed and results generated by Sertris and the resveratrol drugs are unusual. And Sinclair believes these drugs will not only keep people living longer, but will keep them healthy longer. What we're talking about is potentially making a 90-year-old as healthy as a 60-year-old. A 90-year-old can play tennis and see their great-grandkids graduate from college. People will live active, healthy lives and then die quietly in their sleep. And that's really the aim here with these medicines. Are we on the edge of maintaining active lives into our hundreds, for example? Well, we've certainly passed a corner in terms of the science. And someone's going to achieve it. And if it's not us, it's going to be someone else. But the question that most of us want answered is, when do we get this pill? I would say five years to be conservative, that this will happen within our lifetimes. I'm fairly certain about that. One measure of the potential of this research, Dr. Sinclair and Dr. Westfall's little startup company was recently bought by the pharmaceutical giant GlaxoSmithKline for almost three quarters of a billion dollars.